Well, we got to pull off a panel today because I um, have an SMA inverter that failed and on this system and they put the junction box, it's a string inverter, they put the junction box under the solar panel. This is a nice system. Whoever did this job did some good work. Pretty nice work. I would, I'd like to see standing seam metal roof, but uh, it's pretty nice. As you, we like to spray the bolts with WD, but try not to get it on the glass because it's uh, aluminum and uh, stainless steel tend to get jacked up sometimes when we disassemble stuff. <laughs> We're holding up the panels with our ankles <laughs> as we loosen them up. This, this panel. So we're going to cut a tie wrap so we can spin it around access this junction box. They put under the panels. I really don't like it under the panels, especially on string inverter systems, but it looks better. Nice. These guys did left us a bonus present here. Normally, I don't think these are rated to do this because this is number 10 regular wire. They have plugged into number, these are made for use too, but you know, I think this is pretty safe though, because now I can just unplug it and get, and not have to mess with the high voltage on these strings. And this is a question for the super gooper code guys. If I'm working on this system and updating the inverter, does do I need by code of 2020, if I'm changing out just the inverter and not changing out anything else, does this system need rapid shutdown? And we've been doing it without that, not putting rapid shutdown. I'm talking to a few inspectors around here and they say it's fine. I'm curious to see what others around the country would think about that. So getting ready to unplug it, we got red, yellow one, and uh, black to yellow two, and that's the two tape. It goes to the yellow, and the one tape goes to the blue, okay, for my reference. <laughs> so now we got them all unplugged, so they're isolated. So this high voltage DC, there was three strings, it turns out, and um, plus and minus on each string it's around three to six hundred volts typically you wear your you wear your hot gloves and you work on this um you didn't see that in the picture looks like the grounding is right looks pretty good now it's the inverter change out time now we got the dc powered off on the roof and make sure the serial numbers and the oh the uh it's exactly the same SB 7.7 inverter, SMA. A failure code. I, I gotta look up the code that it had, but um, it was under warranty. The, the inverter itself. This the system was installed by somebody else that. And we're just doing the um, replacement of the inverters. I thought, I yeah, Randall was taking off the top part of the cover on this. Um, I wish they separated and only ship. I could just replace the top. We're kind of used to that on some of the other models and some other brands. But this this brand, um, this one, they, we had to replace the whole thing. So you don't really need to take the top off. So if you want to put the screws back. When you take this cover off, don't pull it far because there's that screen and I don't want to ruin this. You have to unplug that. Well, we check the uh, voltages, make sure that we have nothing, zero volts. Even though we uh, unwired it, who knows if that conduit was ran around through something else to another string. So we always make sure, check AC and DC. We should lock everything out really proper by tie wrap it or lock it out and make, make a lockout deal. I can't show everything because we're not going to do like super professional today, but 
usually re you put this in there to release the wires and pull it out. But I always, before I touch anything, even though I check voltage, I always close my eyes and do a spark test. Even though I've checked voltage three, four times. Now we're labeling this stuff because like, so we know what strings, what C minus, you know. I, I grab my label maker from the truck, I suppose. And it's fast to just use tape. Now we got them all labeled. A plus to A plus, B plus to B plus, C plus to C plus, A minus, B minus, and B minus to B minus. And then we pull this one off over here, it's C minus. We're gonna take that off. And I did double label sometimes, I because in case one of these pulls off. So I didn't think it would come with the Wi-Fi. I think some of these didn't have Wi-Fi for a while. They weren't shipping or something. And but this uh, warranty replacement comes. It looks like the communications. So we got her nearly ready to pull off the wall. Have the wires pull back. Loosen the conduit so I can pull it back there. And now we can lift it up out of there. It had a, has a special screw hidden somewhere. We'll take that up so we can lift it up now. So they didn't give us any of these terminals. We had to put those all on. In the, from the old one to the new one. All right, now we can lift her off there. I think we got everything ready. I think we'll just lift straight up. And we're going to set it in its box here a box but I need another hand so I'm gonna set this down shit back put the cover back on it and the old cover we got the new one set back in place it matched up the holes match up sometimes when we do this the holes don't match up so it's kind of nice on this SMA getting the wires back in got to get hook them up Make sure the grounding bushings are on. Solar, they want grounding bushings, it seems more so. <laughs> I need to look up the exact rules on all that. But. So these pipes are bonded. Oh, well, we got her all installed and the strings all back to where they were originally. And, um, <laughs> they didn't ship any of this this cable here these terminals we had to get from the other inverter but um, we just had to hook the display up and put the cover on got her all ready to plug back together and check it all out before we um, turn it on this is a nice array really look at this array this is... I like this it's gonna have some trees in the future. They're gonna to have to trim. These trees are coming up. Have to tell her to cut her trees. <laughs> That's. I want to tell people that. I don't like telling people that. But this is a string inverter system, and it's really gonna be affected by the shade. Got it all plugged back together. I just gotta go down below and make sure before we put the panel back on that the voltages are all right. It's kind of a funky thing to use MC connectors on straight number 10 wire, but I feel it's pretty safe. You know, you could disconnect it real easy. I'm going to leave it that way. Curious if the code gurus see what they say about that. Oh, I checked all the power. I had 390, 280, and 277 here with the worst meter ever, the Klein tool. You can't see the display hardly. Do not buy that meter. I'm gonna get me a fluke. I should be wearing gloves right now. Being, so, being careful though. Not moving until I just put my phone down. Well, we got the panel back on. It's all ready to go. We just gotta test it out. Ready to go, turn it on, and probably need to go through the app and all that. But we noticed, look, the brand new one, it, it doesn't have a display. This one had some kind of thing we would tell you at least something. So I want to almost plug this one back into it. 
Oh, well, we got her all back online, making 22 amps. All strings are showing up. <clears throat> After reading this, it looked like it was another language, but we said, oh yeah, we gotta ship that other lid, swap the lid. I wish they'd send a new um, display out because these displays get a little foggy even after a couple years. I've told a few people to put it like a little flapper on here, you know, to cover it. I want it to last forever. But here's how you gotta go through the menus. You have to knock. <clears throat> and all the strings are making power. There's three strings. I had about 7,000 watts, six or six, actually six or seven. <clears throat> 